Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy, your home for all the info you need to know when you're just trying to survive on a budget. Time for another budget recipe, and this time it's chili. And before we get started with the video, let's answer everybody's question that's on their mind right now. Is he wearing any pants? Well, the answer to that is... Okay, welcome back to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. Like I said, we're making chili. Now, I'm going to be using all natural ground turkey. You can use hamburger and turkey or just hamburger, turkey and ground sausage. I know, people are going ground sausage, that's weird. Yeah, I know, it's weird. Don't knock it till you tried it. Go ahead. Well, I'm going to go ahead, brown this up. Then we're going to start adding our ingredients. Okay, while our ground turkey is cooking, we're going to go over the ingredients. Pretty simple. We got two cans of diced tomatoes, about 15 ounces each. Chili beans, about 15 ounces each. Dark red kidney beans, about 15 ounces. Now, there is a difference between the chili beans and the kidney beans. These are flavored. These aren't. And the skins on, the, on your kidney beans are a little thicker, a little tougher. So you have two different textures. Then we're going to add some pinto beans. 15, about 15 ounces. Whole black beans. About 19 ounces. They didn't have these in the smaller cans, so I just got one of these. Two packs of chili mix. Two cans of tomato paste. So, you're looking at about a buck fifty, buck fifty, buck fifty, buck fifty. So you got six, and six is twelve, thirteen. These I think were about a dollar, fourteen. Two of these, fifteen, and the meat about three dollars. So you're looking at about eighteen bucks or so, under twenty bucks to make a big pot of chili. Now, you can, like, brown the meat and throw it in a crock pot. But I'm going to throw it in a big pot and just let it simmer. Because I don't think my crock pot's going to be big enough. Let's go ahead, get this browned up, and we'll start putting everything together. Okay, while that was browning, I went ahead, chopped up an onion. I'm also going to be adding... Uh, a red and a yellow pepper. I'll probably just do one red and one yellow. I'll probably use the, the other red for something else. But this is pretty well brown. So we're going to take one of our two packets and add to the meat right now. Stir it up. Now you notice how that dried everything up. So what we're going to do is just take a little bit of the liquid from our chili beans. Now remember, don't drain your chili beans because they have seasoning in them too. Add a little more liquid. Now we're going to turn this on low. I'm going to go ahead chop up my peppers. That way the seasoning and meat can get to know each other a little bit better. Okay, our meat's done. So I'm going to put, go ahead, put that in our pot. Put that to the side. Now... gonna put some olive oil in it now you notice I didn't clean off the pan because the pan has seasoning in it I don't want to waste that now you don't have to do this but I like doing it because it adds another layer of flavor put this on medium heat 
throw in our peppers. And our onions. Now, we're just going to brown this up a little bit. Nothing really over the top. Just enough to give it a different, like I said, layer of flavoring. Now, if you don't have peppers, or peppers are overly priced because it's winter or whatever, you can try adding some whole kernel corn, okay? Make sure it's a sweet corn. It'll give it the texture and a little bit of sweetness. I tried these peppers and I think they're going to be plenty sweet for the taste I want. Okay everybody, I forgot to turn the camera back on. I went ahead, added my green peppers and onions, added the diced tomatoes undrained, the chili beans undrained, the pinto beans. Now, as you go and add the ingredients, you're going to notice how liquidy it is. Some people like a real wet chili. Some people like a real dry chili. I'm kind of in the middle. But if you notice your chili's getting too wet, start draining the cans and dumping it in. Uh, if you add the cans and it's not wet enough, add a little bit of water. Some people add beer. Some people drain all the cans and just add beer, which I don't get because just taking away from the flavor. But I got all my cans in. I'm going to add my second pack of chili powder. Stir it in. Okay, you can see that's rather soupy. So we're going to go ahead and add a can of tomato paste. Stir that in. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover this. And we're going to let it simmer on low for hours. Right now it's 1 o'clock a.m. I'll come back in the morning and check on it. If it's still too liquidy, too runny, I'll add a second can of tomato paste. So let's go ahead, get the lid on, and we'll check back in a few hours. Okay, it's been three hours now. Now this is a lot more watery, liquidy, runny, however you want to put it, than what I like. So I'm going to go ahead and add the second can of tomato paste. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this simmer some more with the lid off. Hopefully reduce the liquid a little bit. We'll come back. I'm going to say probably about another two hours or so. See what it looks like. Okay, everybody. It's been about an hour now since I added that second can of tomato paste. And I've had it cooking on low, uncovered. 
And you can actually see how much thicker it actually got. Go ahead and scoop out a big ladle. Or two. Maybe two and a half. Now you can see all the different beans, tomatoes, onions, peppers. Let's go ahead and give it a little taste. Now that's really good as it is. A little bit of sweet, a little bit of heat. Now, if you want a little bit hotter, you can try adding sriracha or crust red peppers or Tabasco sauce, whatever you want to use. I just got this out of level where it has a little bit of heat to it. So if anybody else wants it, well, they can add to it. Okay, hopefully you found this video helpful. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button up here in one of these corners. And as always... Thank you for watching.